We are back in the literature club. I think I'm. Aren't I like baking cupcakes or something today with her? With her? Her? Alright. Let's do it. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's, Natsuki's visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I'm going to turn down the music. Okay. Okay. But it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different than when, when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one of the extended numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tones and emoji and cute language. She also really likes to play me about things, but I kind of saw that coming. But putting the sake aside, I haven't heard anything from Siri since she left the cup earlier the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Siri and... And what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to push Sherry's feelings aside when she might need me? Apparently. I decided to visit Sherry before. Oh, okay. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like I've done in the past. Once I reach Sherry's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to pay. play so often that we've made it a habit simply entering each other's houses like we're family. The house is quiet. Sherry isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange for her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sherry? Hi. Hi. I sit down in her room. Sherry forces a smile, but it's just who she tells she's, she's that, that she's different. There's a minute of silence. You haven't come over like this in such a long time, have you? I thought that was a panda, but it's a cow. Can you water your plants, girl? Why is that torn? Okay. Ah, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sarah's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How, how can we suddenly want to come over today? Are you supposed to see Nasaki today? Yeah, but... Hey, how do you know that? Sorry, and I... Sorry, Harry left before the time we decided, to, decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about festival preparations, right? Ah, oh, that is true. He's talking to me. You jealous? You getting jealous? You're getting jealous. I can see it in the eyes. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helped? To help Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. Ooh, we didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Saki then. Yep. There's more silence. Sari stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is usually is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing after we left on Friday. Well, something's wrong. You can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Siri smiles, shaking her head. That's not good. Eh. Why can't you just be like... Why can't I just be like, it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this, this is my punishment, isn't it? Oh, wait, wait, no, stop. Stop it. Are you any punishment? <laughs> what? No, stop. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. The world? That's my decision. Bitch. Stop. Stop making me feel game. Just wants to torture me. It's the music. Sad music. I grab, I grab her by the soldiers. What on earth are you saying? You still listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation, explanation for you to be like this, so tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Eh? <laughs> Sherry gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Sharky. But, you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. 
I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. See what? What are you talking about? <laughs> really just gonna make you say it, aren't you? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had a really bad depression all my life. Did you know that? How did he not know that? How did I not know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Don't say that. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy into caring to waste? Have Stop it, game. Game. It's not okay. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. You do! You do! Why am I feeling... This game, I hate it. Without anyone worrying about it, stop. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Siri kept us from being there the entire time I've known her? I don't know. I guess you're just stupid. Does she really want so badly for me not to think about her? Why, Siri? Eh. Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed. As your best friend, don't say that's gonna make her feel worse. No, no, you idiot. So I knew I would have done every, everything I could to support you, even if there's only so so much that I can do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand. Why do you think I didn't tell you? So I told you, then you would have have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. Feels nice sometimes. It also feels like a bat swung against my head. Why does it feel like that? That all makes sense. Uh -huh. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Hoping everyone would be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing so you make friends and get closer to everyone in the club it feels like a spear going through my heart. And that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right. I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings and I'll say. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you st stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, Sharky. There's nothing. Nothing at all. Not even a cupcake? The only thing is, like, that could have helped me. Helped is if everything could be like it always was. I can't read. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a whole person I am. Don't. Don't. Game, stop making me feel. I'm, I'm suing. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished. By my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and, and I have made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. Stop. That's all I have. Stop. And that's why I'm going to accept these parts. Stop. Because I deserve every muscle. Stop. Without thinking, I, I once grabbed a series of soldiers. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I don't care if you... If you selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. I make friends with everyone else, and that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way, Sharky. Sharky isn't hugging you back, despite my arms being wrapped around her, she's not wrapped around mine. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this. Please don't do this. She barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in your call, if you have it in your call, you selfish. Then you have it in two. Then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to be changed. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't.
She puts her arms around me and her tip. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't really understand all my feelings at all. The only time I'm not feeling anything is when- Why is there no picture? When I'm feeling pain. But, your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? That's what I want, I promise. I think that'd be nice. Yeah. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. All day just has to be the worst one where I have plans. Should I cancel? No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. Service for me to meet Nasaki. At the very least, do you want to come along and help us out? It would be fun. She shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good. If that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Yeah. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand. I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Look forward to it. Say goodbye and then an exit her house. On the way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Saki is about to come over. I, th I think Sari is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. And we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spent only a few minutes at my house anxiously waiting. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. I thought they lay open the door in the hern. Hi. So. Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing that it's something other than her school uniform, school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally up, upfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make me feel so awkward already. It's going to be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. Okay. I see you brought a lot of stuff. She's going to make a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way just to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. This kitchen looks quite equipped, like those shelves empty. Six bowls, a couple plates. It's fine. You put everything you asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. She just asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Why do you have like a vape? What's up with that? Why do you just have normal teeth? You cat? Well, of course. I'm surprised you didn't Saki saw me say that, rather than saying something starkly like she usually does. Could it be that she's a little different inside of school? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What, you're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where is your hospitality? Since when did I need to be a gentleman? Grab the, I grabbed the bag. I grabbed the bag and Saki holds out to me. This is really heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see. Yeah, I am impressed. It seems lo like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? Jerk. It's like it hits a fist into my chest. Hey. Your size has nothing to do with it. You really hate being small that much? Yeah. Um. It's not like I hate it. Sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm with my size. It's fun when it's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. Oh. Okay. What do you make me say? Don't let you make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. We can start with what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? 
That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you speak your mind like that. Hey. Now are you treating me like a kid? Just trying to be a little bit nicer to you, you know? Just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... <laughs> he catches a word, face turns red. Saki. Forget it! I just angry. I should apologize. Eh. I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little bit more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are empty body types like yours. Eh. How would you know that anyway? Just trust me with this one. Is that to me? Who else? Man. It's just a start. <laughs> this is awkward. I don't like this. You go all sad and go call you gross. Well, I found out your weakness. What do they call it a weakness? Where the fuck you? Spare me. Well, if the second decides to just sound more and like that, there's no way I'm, I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to put all, pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Kitchen's a mess. Looks pretty clean. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every corner top. Make sure it's big enough to make all the batter at once, so we had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Aunt Saki is babysitting all my units to make sure I don't mess up with her precious bacon. Where did you put the food coloring? The batter's gonna be in the other suit, and I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? Color the batter, of course. Each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. That's a cute idea. Are you doing anything like that with icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so come on. You're not putting all my heart into this. You're not putting any heart into this. Can you just at least try to have fun? You might have fun. I'm not really sure what the is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food color in each one. Uh, that does look pretty cool. Let's see? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if just looking at it makes everything, uh, everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? Well, she proudly presented her cat shaped cupcakes and delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make proud like that too. Yeah. Maybe I'll use who tar and then sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We're using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. The icing's still a little lumpy. What are you even trying? Yeah. Just takes a little, little longer. Geez, I'll, I'll be here all night if, if you do it like that. Here, look. She grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really needed to beat the crap out You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if I emphasize, Snacky sticks her finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I do the same. Don't let your close fingers on my icing. Yeah, I see that. Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back. I'm trying to my, my finger toward the board. Don't let you beat the crap out of you. I like to see you try. I push harder just enough for my finger to reach icing. I scoop some with my finger just as she tugs with all her might. Uh, the force of that completely causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross. You got. You got it on my face. Uh oh. Who's fault is that? There's a big clump of icing next. 
Uh, is this still white? <laughs> okay. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away, jeez. You know what? Take this. Set a wipes off her finger before shoving it at my own face. You wish I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. She tries to use the other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Uh oh. Uh oh. Stop. Not to you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. Sorry for calling you gross. You know I didn't mean it. It was just fun seeing you react to it. You do get to me on time, you know. I'm saying, saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? My kids I probably shouldn't do this either. I'm taking the side of his finger and put it in my mouth, licking the icing off. Oh, what? Did you just seriously just. Uh, uh, she says that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Sharky. You really shouldn't do that kind of things to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me? Just like that. How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I she gazes at me in silence. And I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? I know where the fire alarm is supposed to go off. Rushes over to the oven. Something burning. I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. No wonder. There's a dirty train here, dummy. I can't even make a mistake like that. You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Use the oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on, on top of the stove. Another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah? Tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. But then the moment has already begun, been lost. She slides the cupcakes into the oven, and I return to pick up the whisk and continue with the icing. But nothing ever happened. It smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as she opens the oven door, a blast of sweet, smelly, warm air fills the room. Look how cute they all look. She powder shows off, off all the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. Oh, look better when they had the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought that grand so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing, scoop the icing into these bags. Hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make them look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time though. What's this one for? Pick up one that has a much thinner tip than the others. That's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. You can also use it to write stuff on cake, like happy birthday or whatever. I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Yeah. Well, there's literature in that, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing a different, different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see People choose to cut his face on the word they like. Hmm. That was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually a pretty cute idea, so. Aha. Maybe I'm getting in front of you. What was that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and I expect me to think you're cute. Her voice shows off. Same with you. Huh? You say something? Nothing. I hate this so much. Just damn cupcakes. <sighs> There's the last bit. Without giving me the chance to think about it, she quickly moves on. She shows me that pie the ice, and, and then we get to work. Huh? Look how pretty they are together. I wish I had one now. 
What is he? Yeah, right? I don't see any harm in that. Oh, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really have to save my appetite. Ah. If she was here, she'd probably be down 10 uh, cupcakes already. And then she'd still eat dinner. That's just not healthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much as I can. Oh, well, anyway. I was hoping we'd have a time, we'd have time for manga, but I need to get home for dinner. You should have thought about that. It's not like you, you always have this chance. Place is to blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sarah each carry some, you can probably do it in, in one trip. Yeah, I'll do that. Don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I can't think back to the conversation I had with Siri earlier today. I felt so hopeless. Siri always does listen to me. But at that point, I felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. I'm all packed up. Good work today, you too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, she's already about to leave. It feels like that new one by in a flash. More than that. Did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her? Like I want? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. See you tomorrow. Wait, Nasuki, hmm. What do you say before? But now I'm always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. Have fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be. Like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over any time, okay? I think that, if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga, or go out somewhere. Um, do you really mean that? She looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yup. I want to spend more time with you. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so. Oh, you're really close. Dude, the same interest for me, she looks up at me. Gently clutch at the sides of my shirt as if she's holding on to me. Her cheeks and imagine less film is. <laughs> She just looks like us back. It's very, huh? Ah. Hi. What's up? Want a cupcake? Just now you weren't. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I just stepped by to say hi. Okay. Ah. Uh, well. He should have come a little earlier. Tomorrow on my way out, so. Ah, really? That's too bad, yeah. I still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just leaving the cupcakes for them. Anyway, later. Very frustrated, Nasty hurries off, and Shuri waves goodbye. Shuri! I thought you didn't want to come over. Eh, well. I tried staying in my room. But my imagination was, gonna, was being really mean to me. <laughs> so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? You know, but, you know, unless you're in heaven or something, and how close you got to her. It makes me feel, it makes me really happy. Two you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. When does it get weird? Joseph, you told me it gets weird. Weird, per se, is that. It's just... Hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. Oh my god! <laughs> Turn into a devil or something. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to be so oh my god. Shut up. Monica was right. I should just. Monica. Where was she right about? Am I 
I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Good. What did Monica say? What did Monica say? What? What did Monica say? I don't care. You're scared. What did Monica say? I might like you more than you like me. Monica. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Yeah. That's enough. I don't want to hurt you anymore. What did Monica say again? Huh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. It's kind of a big decision. Probably the biggest one in the game yet. I love you. You always be my dearest friend. Do I friend zone or boner? Friend zone or bone? Friend bone zone bone. Friend zone or bone? Which one did I choose? Oh god, I chose that one! I had my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Guess we're boning. Okay. 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 we go, Megan. She said it. <sighs> supposed to be happy right now. So you're not fucking happy? You're not happy? I potentially just ruin things with Nasaki and you're not fucking happy. I did to say you wanna fucking kill yourself and you're not fucking happy? Monica. What did Monica tell you? I was expecting things to get weird, but this is getting depressing. I, I trust you. Okay. First of all, yep. Oh, that's that's your first date. I don't want to think about this thing, you know. You really get really, really sad. This is the best thing for me, right? Yeah. This makes me feel sad. I'm like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. And that's why I want to trust you. I never felt more uncertain on it.
How did the demons come into this? Is there demons? It's just depression. And cupcakes. Are cupcakes demons? Stay the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sherry. She's even answering her phone. Uh oh. Why is there no music? Sorry, he's texting up sorry I can't respond. Thanks, my hands being full. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sherry and, and Saki at the festival. Knowing Monica, I'm sure that that would be great too. Hi. Yup. Bet you're over here by now. I little booklets when you should just in the classroom. Monica, I don't like you. Just leave me alone. This must be one of the ones she prepared to have all the poems for performing. And I found a random poem I thought Monica would like and send it. So that's the one I'll be performing. It's ready to bring Sherry with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that the on days is important, she'd be try a little harder, I say that, but suddenly I remember Sherry told me yesterday. I still only feel awful. No, it's not nearly that simple for her. I always says it because the way uh, I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Heh <laughs> shut up. You take a little responsibility for her, Sharky. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. Why is there no music? Why is... You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? You know about that? Gee. You don't know the full story at all, so... Demon! Here. Demon students, for some reason I felt chill down my spine. Yeah, I did too. Every time I see her, there's a chill down my spine. No! I don't want to check out your pantlets. I feel like you're the source of the weirdness that comes in this game. Are you not? Sometimes, why is there no music? The no music really bothers me. It's different than the one she practices. It's the one I ever, I ever heard before. Percent. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Okay, I'm sensing a pattern here. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. Okay. Oh, there's more. Get out of my head before I want... I get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this book. She... Monica. 
as in Monica, she, but poem is never actually finished. I just stopped moving. I'm gonna go get Santa yet. Yeah. Monica, what the fuck did you do? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't drink. Shut up, Monica! Oh no. Wait. Wait. I really have a sleep I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. I don't know how to do it, but it's with you as dry. In any case, that just feels right. I knock on her door. Uh, wake up. There's no response. Uh, oh. oh! What the fuck? What, what the? No, Monica, what did you do? Monica! Uh, expression has occurred. Monica! What did Monica do? What the? Uh, it's a nightmare. Cupcake. God, me to smack. Monica, what did Monica do? I told her that's. Uh, 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 I want a cupcake. Uh, 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 what did Monica say? To do you want to go the festival? Oh fuck me! Oh god! What? Oh my god! Ah! Oh. Never, never, never! What? End? That's the end? That's Monica, that's not Sierra. That has Monica and her is the pink eye. That's Nasaki. That's pink. That's her eye. Right. What's that? Is that? Okay, that's you. Okay. What's it? Ah. Uh, this is the beginning. I see an annoying girl right in me, waving her arm. The girl is my neighbor. Uh, So I can let it catch up. Hi, Monica, Yuri. Completely. Yeah, we do know each other, but really, really taught. But I mean, mm. Monica was popular. But, uh, what did you say to her? What? Oh, I've just been looking for some slides to use for my club. Yeah, I don't care about your club. Check the closet. I can't stand out the politics. <laughs> We've had this talk before. 
Mm-hmm. Starting a new one. The ch Hi! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have? Um, this is going to be there's only three of us. No Siri. Well, where's the Siri? Not there. That's boring. <laughs> Did Monica say she? Hey. Uh, I don't want to join your club. I don't want to join your club. I don't want. No, 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 no. I don't want to join your club. No, no. I have had many reasons to refuse. So that's okay. <laughs> I have a lot of reasons to refuse someone like Monica. I'm not sweet. I'll fucking kill you. Nice the day I saw my son on good. I tell my father about how I was just going upstairs. He's just gone. Full energy. Hi! I'm back. I see that! I brought a guest. That hi, Yuri. You're probably the normalest one here now. You just have a little bit of depression. Like, hi. You're the only one that hasn't really weirded me out yet. Oh, hi. You haven't weirded me out yet. I kind of forgot it. You brought a boy? Hi. You two seem quite normal. You're, you're just an emo goth girl that wants to kill herself, and you're the cutesy little annoying girl. And you're the fucking demon. <laughs> Uh, this clad's full of incredibly cute girls, and, hmm, yep. You're Monica's boy? Excuse me? Monica's, Monica's what 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 No. Okay, so I'll figure Uh-huh. Boy. Boyfriend. I don't remember. I don't remember it. that happening. Wait, Monica, didn't you tell me that? And I was gonna do what well, you know, sorry. I don't. Uh, Siri, is her body still hanging? I would be great. Why don't we come sit down? I don't wanna sit down with you. I don't wanna sit down with you. You at all? I just wanna go home and watch it, anime. <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Must be hard to start a new club. Hmm. Oh, something to grab your attention, like literature. <laughs> it makes school events like like for the festivals that much more important. I'm confident we. <laughs> Minasaki. Yep, remember when we baked cupcakes together? You don't remember that? Okay. Good story. Very passionate about her feelings. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but obviously. You know, I like a lot of things. Stories. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Very poor lately. Yeah, apparently I have too. There's a lot of hanging bodies and demons named Monica. At this rate, you might as well be in the conversation with a rock. Suits your personality, is it so? So, so usually I think nothing happened. Nothing weird happening? Nothing weird? I don't... I never 
said I would join this club. Uh, yeah, it's just something by. Girls, I just want to turn back. I guess I need to tell you the truth. The thing is, I don't have enough members to form an official club. I need four. Well, you had four, but you probably told her to kill herself. Bitch. And I've been trying really hard to find your members. I think I'm going to go to the but you're a murderer. It was relaxed until uh, Cupcake, Bakey, and Demons decided to show up. Tonight's assignment, I had a poem, yep. Monica looks over me anymore. Look for this scene how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, I can really impress another one of my favorite writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Well, you know how the girls continue to chit chat. I hope you'll see me tomorrow. Make my way home the whole way, my mind. And um, there, there was four girls. There should be four. But there should be four, not three. This is a five-character story. <laughs> Special poem? Would you? Uh huh. Wait. What did it say? What, what did this? What did it say? It looks, it looks crooked. Right. Still looks cricket. Ah, hi, Yuri. Oh, hi. How's it going? Don't say that name. Don't say Monica. Oh, hi, my. You're over the chat box. I can't read what that says. Ah, uh, my god, okay. Anyway, yeah, and perhaps you might adventure some book through- No, I don't have any fucking interest in your book. Ah, uh, my god. I'm just gonna leave this off. This is gonna accidentally be so cute. Hi! No. We're gonna stop here. We're, we're gonna stop here for now. What the? What the fuck? Sirius is dead? She's just dead? Like, dead, dead, dead? Like, well, she's never alive again. She hung herself. The poem said nothing's real. What's that about? Are the cupcakes real? Are you real? I... Okay. Bye.